I'm ecstatic to be uh, on the same program as George Balanchine's work. Um, also a little bit intimidated because he um, is such an influential choreographer on me personally. Uh, and, you know, I work primarily in the company in which he founded and uh, where he created many of his works, most of his work, uh, there at New York City Ballet. It's interesting to come back, I think, after having worked with the uh, Paris Opera Ballet dancers on an existing work. Uh, I was here in March for my ballet increases, which they danced really well. Um, but what's interesting about that is uh, you can get to know the dancers through uh, the lens of, it, of this existing choreography and, um, and use that to familiarize with them and eventually um, when it comes to making the new creation can build off of that relationship. I really wanted to work with a French composer for this commission at Paris Hopper Ballet. Um, but not just a French composer, this specific work by Poulenc to me feels like the perfect bridge between um, the American sound and the French sound. The ballet is uh, made up of uh, um, an ensemble of individuals. Um, and so the first image the viewer sees is this kind of tableau of the entire cast. Um, and very quickly it shifts um, to a slightly different dynamic with one soloist ballerina dancing in relation to the rest of the group. and. Um, and I'm, you know, in a lot of my work, I'm very interested in how um, different uh, numbers of dancers relate to each other. So a lot of times there'll be one da dancer performing in juxtaposition to a group or, or a pas de deux in relation to, um, to several more dancers. I still feel like the, um, the other four couples who join them can uh, can be can retract a little faster, or maybe not go quite as high. I don't know. I'm trying to achieve some sort of effect there. The title it's a French expression for um, the second half of twilight. So uh, right when the, s the sunset is turning into nighttime. So there's this mystery to that time period. There's sort of uh, a danger to it. There's also beauty. Um, and uh, I really thought that the music kind of had a similar quality uh, to it. It has these really kind of bright light moments, but at the same time, all of a sudden it'll like shift into something that's incredibly eerie and ominous. This is the first time John Baldessari's designing for a ballet. Baldessari is so known for these iconic images of uh, um, just people with dots in front of their faces. Um, and so we've kind of brought that to life in this ballet. And so it's sort of thought of as like a uh, uh, painting that's come alive by him. Um, but there is that sort of like danger um, found within that design too. It's sort of uh, the mystery of what's behind the masks and the tension between the audience and the dancers and what's between them. Mm -hmm. 